So today we're going to be critiquing the five best builds in Elden Ring for 2023. Coming in at number five, we have tank builds. Can't deny their effectiveness against almost every enemy in the game, including bosses. Lastly, with these kinds of builds is you aren't protected from the side. So when you're fighting multiple targets, you really have to make sure they stay in front of you or take out one of them as fast as possible. To start off with, instead of using the Cross Naginata and the Fingerprint Great Shield, we are using the Brass Shield and Bloody Helis. The reason for this is the effective damage for the Bloody Helis is higher than the Cross Naginata, as well as with the nerfs to the Fingerprint Great Shield and the buff to the Medium Shields, it is better to use a Medium Shield for shield poking. Then for armor, he complained about being staggered out of his attacks when he was attacked from the side, and so the reason for that was because he did not have enough poise. He did not have 51 poise. To counter this, we're using 101 poise. That'll allow us two hits from enemies before we stagger. And to accomplish that, we're using the Tree Sentinel armor, White Mask, Lionel's Gauntlets, and Tree Sentinel Greaves. We have the Lord's Blood Exaltation, uh, Spear Talisman, Great Shield Talisman, and Bulgold's Talisman. That's all going to buff our tankiness and our damage. For the Great Rune, we have Radon's Great Rune. And that's going to buff our health, FP, and stamina. For the Crystal Tears, we have Green Burst and Green Spill. That is going to be buffing our stamina further to allow us to tank more hits. And as you can see over our stats, we are level 150. We have 60 Vigor, 35 Endurance, 16 Strength, 35 Dexterity, and 59 Arcane. So, uh, that was easy. Number four on the list, lightning builds. Unlike tank setups, you usually try to fight from a distance. The lightning build, we are going to be utilizing the dual gravel stone seal, the rapier with electrify armament, and then buffs to make our lightning spells do more damage. The main problem with this was the spell layout. You really only want to use force axes spear, lightning spear, ancient dragons lightning strike, and electrify armament. The rest have poor damage to FP ratios. You want 38 mind and 80 faith. I got slightly more endurance here than I needed due to the fact that it would give me more ability to cast spells. And that's it for the lightning build. Pyro builds. They do even more damage with most of their attacks having a good size blast radius and the best part about it is the weapons you would use for these setups also scale with faith. They also have the blasphemous blade to go with them, another extremely good weapon. Coming up against fire resistant enemies, there's not much you can do against them. For the pyro build, it's going to look basically the same as the lightning build, except for we're going to have the stats to use blasphemous blade. Other than that, it's going to be the copy paste of the lightning build, but because we have to use the blasphemous blade, we're going to have less mind and we're only going to use three incantations catch flame giant flame take the inferno flame hybrid of strength and bleed builds surprisingly they're not very common and i have no idea why bleed and strength and originally he has the dual colossal weapons so we're going to use the gargoyle's twin blade with endure and because of that we will be able to get off a fully charged r2 so that's going to benefit from the axe talisman the thorny crack tier and then we are also going to have it blood infused to get that scaling off of strength and arcane so we're going to stack multi-hit talismans and multi-hit buffs mage builds is because they pump out even more damage while at a distance and they have so many good weapons to go with them like the dark moon great sword moon veil death's poker and the sword of night and flame so the mage build is the build i had the least amount of problems with but there were some slight optimizations that could be made such as dual staff of loss using the snow witch hat to buff ronnie's dark moon even though you're not going to use that as a full-time spell recommending moon veil and other ash of war sticks instead of just using night common or something like that now this isn't the best dps 
mage build, but it is going to be the most efficient damage to FP ratio. So we're going to use Night Comet, Terra Magica, and Rani's Dark Moon. Rani's Dark Moon to pros the Frostbite, as well as the damage negation debuff. And then just use Night Comet, as that is going to have less than a 2% difference from full Comet while being absurdly more FP efficient. We have Radon's Great Rune for the HP, Mind, and Vigor, or Stamina. Uh, as well as the Magic Shard and Crack Tier and Apply and Hard Tier to counteract the Magic Scorpion Charm. And then we also have the 51 Poise Breakpoint for PvE.